Hi, I'm Trudy Tapscott. And I'm Britt Bergmeister. For, for modeling, it's not always about the serious look. You get a lot of commercial jobs where you have to smile. So for me, um, one tip that my mom actually gave me is to laugh because that'll come across as genuine and you'll tell from the picture that you're, you're connecting and you're giving a real genuine laugh. Um, it's important you know, to practice in front of the mirror. I have a very gummy smile and so I have to practice you know, dropping my lip down and not giving as much teeth as I would with my friends if I'm telling a joke. It's also important to learn how to smile with your mouth closed because sometimes the clients won't want to see all your teeth. So it's all about practicing in front of the mirror and even with your eyes, you know, you can tell a picture from a model who's smiling, fake smiling, and then really engaging. She's smiling with her eyes, she's happy to be there, she's selling the product, and you can, you can really tell. Um, so, you know, just practice and try and be genuine with the camera. No one really understands what you say when you say, you know, if practice so that you can learn how to smile. Because mm -hmm. what's important is that you know how it feels when you're doing certain things. So, like Britt said, her practicing was um, about her mouth and how her smile looked. Some people, mm -hmm. when they smile, you lose their eyes and their eyes get really tiny because they're, mm -hmm. they're, but they're not aware of it. So if you practice in front of the mirror, then you, you know, you, you learn those things and you learn how it feels. So when a client asks you to jump and smile, you can jump and laugh smile, you know exactly what that's gonna look like and you're comfortable doing it. Mm -hmm. Don't assume that the way you smile naturally is the way you're gonna smile in pictures. A great picture with a great smile is really, it's more than just what you're smiling. It's, mm -hmm. it's your eyes, it's the angle that you, this is why practicing in front of the mirror, that's why people yeah. say, oh, I have a good angle if I look that way. Mm -hmm. Well, obviously, if you're a model, no one's gonna, you know, you have to have a lot of good angles, but you know, like, when your head is like this, what it looks like, if your head's like this, it's very subtle, you know, you're not doing big movements when you're modeling, and every single angle makes a difference. So, yeah. by practicing, you get more comfortable, and the more comfortable you get, chances are the picture is going to get better. Um, you can't walk in and say to a photographer, I, you can only shoot me from this side because that's my good side. You can't necessarily, that's not really going to work, but you can know that in your head so that you, because you've practiced, you know what it looks like. And I think that's what practicing is. And that goes with full length as well. Mm -hmm. You know where your body is and how your shoulders are and how your head is. It's very tiny, tiny movements, which I think in the beginning, you don't really understand that. Mm -hmm.